Vancouver Island is a wild place. It is home to the largest trees in the world, thousands of miles of rugged coastline, and months of never-ending rain. With the world still reeling from a global crisis and travel just now opening up, it has put a huge hamper in leaving our little piece of the world. We have decided to keep things more local for the time being and explore places close to home that we had no idea even existed. Our plan is to visit the remote places on the road less traveled and document our journey one day at a time, mostly for personal memories and for our children to look back on all the great adventures we have as a family. Our goal is to capture some of the beauty of the places we visit, and if you do happen to like our videos, please follow along with us and ask questions and become part of our little community. A subscription and a like go a long way, and as always, we are happy to have you here. Living here and seeing the area day after day has made us complacent to the natural beauty that we find ourselves immersed in. Taking this place for granted and recognizing that is the first step in appreciating the world in which we live. We truly are blessed to have so much right in our own backyard. Passing through the small towns on Vancouver Island's west coast, this week we are setting our sights on the world's second largest Douglas fir tree, appropriately named Big Lonely Doug. To get there, we'll need to travel west with a quick stop in Jordan River to check out the beach and take in the waves and rugged coast. Although the rain is falling, we continue through patches of old growth forest blanketed in fog to the final village at the end of the road, Port Renfrew. From Port Renfrew, we head north, winding our way through rough logging roads with potholes big enough to swallow small cars. You can expect to see waterfalls, large stands of trees, and massive flowing rivers on your way. The road to Big Lonely Doug is a rough one, and four-wheel drive is needed to make it up the last 1.5 kilometers. So this behind me is uh, Big Lonely Doug. It's the second largest fir tree in Canada. It stands like 70.2 meters tall, or 230 feet, and it's located in the uh, Ferry Creek area. If you're familiar with Vancouver Island, then you'll know that um, there's a bunch of protests about logging this area, um, Ferry Creek area. Um, I think something like 1,200 protesters were arrested for uh, protesting uh, logging. That was going to happen in the Fairy Creek watershed. I'll talk a bit about that in the voiceover, but um, 
yeah, it's a beautiful area. It's really sunny today. All the shots we got of this earlier were uh, rainy and dismal. Uh, but today's a beautiful day. It's eight degrees. It's pretty cool out. Fall weather's definitely hit. Yeah, but if you're on Vancouver Island and you get a chance to stop here, uh, it's just past Port Renfrew, uh, I'd recommend it. Um, and I'd recommend actually hiking down to the tree. It doesn't look very big in the video here, but um, when you actually see it and you're standing at the base of it, it's, it's pretty impressive. And it's pretty easy. You can get the kids down there, as you see in the video. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend it if you're on the west coast of Vancouver Island out towards Jordan River or Port Renfrew that you come check out the uh, Big Lonely Doug. Big Lonely Doug was officially measured at 70.2 meters or 230 feet tall with a diameter of 3.9 meters or 12.4 feet and a circumference of 11.9 meters or 39 feet, making it the second largest Douglas fir tree in the world and one of the oldest. Estimates put it at a thousand years CE. Something to note is the world's largest Douglas fir tree, the Red Creek fir, is located just 20 kilometers to the east of Big Lonely Doug. On an early winter morning in 2011, Dennis Cronin drove the long road to a stand of old growth timber along the Gordon River. He laced up his cork boots, donned his reflective vest and hard hat, and proceeded into the patch of large trees. Dennis was a flagger, marking the trees for a clear cutting. Little did Dennis know at the time, but he would make a decision that would leave his mark on history and open a debate on old growth logging. Known as Cut Block 7190, it was 12 hectares of prime old growth timber and at the time was home to some of the largest and oldest trees in the world. Walking the cut block, Dennis stumbled upon the largest tree he had ever seen in his four decades of logging. The tree Dennis was standing beneath is now known as Big Lonely Doug. Rather than mark the tree for harvest, Dennis reached onto his belt pulling a long piece of green flagging ribbon with the words, Leave Tree written on it. His decision that day saved Big Lonely Doug from a faller's saw, and now it stands alone as a testament to the need for preservation versus profit. Vancouver Island is truly a home to the giants, and hopefully something can be done to protect the low-lying old growth forests that remain, as 99% has already been logged. Thank you.